With this exercise, we are going to be applying fasteners to this assembly by utilizing the Content Center, which is a database of standard components. To access this database, under the Place Component, you can switch it over to Place from Content Center. This will access the database and our fasteners that we need. So here we have our fasteners, our bolts, and we want a socket head cap screw and we want the forge socket head cap screw metric. So I will double click this and it will give me a little preview of what that fastener looks like. Content center is made up of parts that will automatically size when positioned on holes in your design. When a specific size has not been calculated, the fastener is attached to your cursor and it displays an icon with a red question mark like how I have displayed right here. Once I have hovered over a hole, it will turn into a green check mark, also with the size of the fastener that can be put into that hole. For this step, we are going to apply a hole as such. So I'm just going to hover over this hole to get my fastener size. And so this will be an M6 by 1 fastener. I will then accept this by left clicking on that and then specifying my, the plane for which the cap screw will sit upon. I then get my auto drop dialog with a double arrow attached to my fastener when I, I can click and drag and get the appropriate size that I want or length of fastener. Once I get the length that I want which is an M6 by 1 by 20 for this exercise I'll go ahead and click on the green check mark which will then place the fastener. Notice how a second fastener was automatically placed that's because the hole was created with a pattern command. So when you place a fastener onto a pattern, the fastener will then duplicate to replicate that pattern. If I select a third fastener to be placed, but do not select the hole, I just pick out in the middle of my graphics area, I will get the dialog box to specify which size. This is because there wasn't a hole selected, so Content Center did not know which size hole or fastener to, to create. So for this instance I will create an M6 by 25 and then I'll click the OK button. And then a fastener is created and I will place this one down here as such and then hit done. So for the two different ways you can place fasteners are, is by selecting a hole for Content Center to calculate the size fastener to place in the hole or to click out in the middle of your graphics area and then specify the size and type of fastener that you wish. I'm going to orientate my view because what we're going to do now is we're going to f apply this fastener or constrain it to the bottom of my assembly. Another way to constrain without using the constrain tool is to use the alt drag method. To do this if I hold down my alt key and then dr click and drag my component and then get it orientated into this into the right position I can then constrain it so that it will go in without the constraint tool and there we go right there so now that I get in the right position I'm going to let go of my mouse button click on the little green box and now I have constrained that fastener to that hole without using the constraint tool. So that's using the alt drag method. So now let me go back to my home view once that is placed. And I'm going to zoom into those first fasteners that we cre that we have placed and we're going to change the color of the fasteners. So in the browser I'm going to click the first forge socket cap screw right here, hold down my shift key and then select the last forge so I can then select all three of the socket ca head cap screws that they have inserted. I am then going to select up in my material area the gun metal from my list because I'm just changing the color of how these look. So there is my gun metal right there. And the appearance of my fasteners will now appear as gunmetal. Even though the physical properties will still be the material they came in on, I'm just overriding the display of them. 
So now I have placed my fasteners using the content center. I have done it with the applying a hole to determine the size and then also by clicking and putting in a fastener based off of the options that I want, the size and the type. And then also I have constrained by not using the constraint tool but by using the alt drag method.